Alrighty, welcome back to the sub. Now over 55,000 weight re-rackers. And before we get started, because I don't think I've given an update here on this channel, as far as the bump on my chin goes, because people have been wondering, I went to the dermatologist on Monday. It is an ingrown hair that got infected. They did a little swab thing, so I'll get the results back from that to figure out what infection, but they did prescribe antibiotics, putting on their topical ointment stuff, and hopefully it'll get better, because if it doesn't, then I have to take oral antibiotics or get a steroid injection. I was talking to a doctor friend last night, he said that steroid injections in the face are very painful. I don't like needles, so that would not be fun. So let's hope the topical ointment works. Let's start off with number 19. Random crafting recipes be like, this roll of paper is made from stone <laughs> and it could save a lot of trees. It's alternative uses for stone, okay? You can make paper from it. In caveman times, they drew on cave walls. I feel like it's about time we get back to our roots and use stone in order to write on, okay? It might be heavier, but it's far more durable unless you drop it and it shatters. And then you can be like, dang, I dropped my homework and it would be a valid excuse for not being able to turn it in. Avoiding demonetization like, K word, you mean you, mean you want to demonetize them? Whoa, yeah, that does sound bad when you say it out loud. And yes, we're going to unalive that. Ooh, that's a good alternative. Because if I'm speaking to other people who aren't familiar with subbing out demonetization for demonetization, they might not understand exactly what I'm trying to say. Like, what word is demonetization subbing for? If I say we unalive them, I appreciate this little tidbit of information. Good alternatives. I should write down a whole list, a little notepad that I can have next to me at all times of acceptable words of substitution so that we maintain monetization at all times on the channel. Yeah, I'm a veteran in Minecraft. Professional players, veteran players. Jordan when making a bow. <laughs> oh man, I've seen this meme template like the past couple of days. I haven't seen it applied to me being the one down here yet, and I feel like I need to be put in my place. Thank you. Also was doing that last night in my live stream with this steel scaffolding block I had to make and I was inverting the rods and the steel blocks. Why isn't this working? Everyone's like, you're doing the bow thing, Jardon, you idiot. Jardon is four foot 100%, yes, very much. Oh, look, it's a four foot Jardon. Ah, <laughs> oh, I'd look like I'd be a good swimmer there, though. This would probably help my fear of water because I don't, I'm bad at swimming, but if I had this, Michael Phelps, you better watch out, unless I get banned from the Olympics for unfair genetic advantages. Is that possible? Is it possible for someone to be born with a genetic anomaly that actually bans them from any particular sport because they'd be too good at it? You don't hear about that very often, right? Why can't we be born with more genetic anomalies that make some of us superheroes? Why do they always have to cause bad things to happen? You never hear about good genetic anomalies. Like, oh, this person was just born with muscles that gave them super strength. And no, it didn't have any other implications of shortening their lifespan, okay? It just gave them super strength. Can we have this, nature? Please. New and improved girlfriend. Before is improved girlfriend. Before National Girlfriend Day, after National Girlfriend Day. This is a reference back to another video. Was this on this channel last week? Or I think this might have been on the reaction channel. I'm not sure. By the way, if you like Reddit content, because I feel like the channel has popped off a little bit more since I haven't been plugging the Reddit reaction channel, the Jordan Reacts channel, in recent months, feel free to go over there, youtube.com slash Jordan Reacts. link in the description, I think. And there's lots of Reddit content on a four times weekly basis where I talk about having my limbs replaced with robot parts. If it wasn't here, I all blends together. I don't know where I say what anymore. It's all a, a mass, M mess in the ether of massive words that I say. Cool. Anyway, this, yes, one day, this will be me. 14 hours into a digital design class project, might as well post it. That's pretty nifty. What is, like, what is the interesting textures and stuff like that? So you say 14 hours into a project, does that mean there's more than this? Did you have to do more portraits? Because that's pretty, that's pretty cool, dude. I wish I had a class where they wanted you to like draw cool things. I guess I did have an art class in high school, but nobody cared. That was the problem. I was the only one who was like actually in, in group across the table projects where we were trying to do a group drawing. Nobody else cared. I'm like, well, why don't we, it's, this is the only fun class we have in school. Why don't we try to do something fun? And they're like, nah, 
teacher's old let's just we don't need to bother to pay attention and i was like okay i just want to do draw cool things so hopefully you have a class that cares found this while voting on urban dictionary words jardon's the only person i've seen that actually says this so i assume it's about him should this be in urban dictionary demonetize an alternate way to describe the act of demonetization unaliving someone while keeping it family friendly i totally demonetized that guy hashtag demonetized i usually I feel like I usually spell it with a Z, but yeah, it probably is spelled with an S. I don't know, do I have a claim to fame on the context? Definitely not the person to use the word first, or the most. Mini Lad has an entire tour that he's doing across the country that's called the Demonetized Tour, so other people have certainly put the word to use. But I don't know if I anyone else has done the substitution thing. It's actually really funny. I, I was speaking to Mini Lad at a dinner with YouTube at E3, like, I guess that was in June. And um, I was I was like, oh, what what you been up to lately? How things going? Because he moved out of L.A. I hadn't seen him in a while. He's like, oh, it's good. I'm working on a uh, a tour. Uh, I'm like, oh, that that's that's pretty cool. What's it all about? And he was like being really reserved at getting into what it was because <laughs> we're in a, a room at a YouTube dinner hosted by YouTube, fully YouTube employees. And he's like, it's called the Demonetized Tour. I'm like, oh, I see why you didn't want to share this in this room. <laughs> I don't think anyone actually took offense, but it was funny. When Jardon tries to present himself as short, Jordan Maronite. Dude, wait, please tell me this is not what's happened now. Okay, all right. It, uh, it, doesn't, it doesn't give my height in light years. Okay. I thought I thought this is what it came to. Um, according to Google, I'm five foot ten, but actually I'm four feet and a good swimmer. Okay, <laughs> thank you. There is always another. Me, I finally subscribed to all of Kevin Sparkles' YouTube channels. Kevin Sparkles, there is another. This is the opposite of the "There is only one" version from last week of "There only being one me" by my name. But there, there might. Well, actually, I haven't made a new channel in a while. I'm really failing on my pace to own 99% of YouTube and make 99% of YouTube channels. So I really need to get back on that. But also, since Minecraft has been popping off again, I've kind of been trying to focus on things around that. And that's why this channel has become the main focus instead of like, you know, doing more stuff on the Jordan Games channel where I was doing some of the Roblox, which I know people still want, but I've still been focusing on the Minecraft and all that stuff. And there have been less vlogs because I've been here at my computer the majority of time between recording Minecraft for this channel and streaming. So, you know, has it gotten in the way of some other stuff? Possibly, but is it a good thing overall? I'd like to think yes. Boop. What have you got for me? Dog photo. I'll take all of it. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like um, if you don't watch Jordan Reacts, you're missing the context for this. Basically, so I always turn off the autoplay thing on uh, Giphy Cat, the, the, or Giphy, the website, uh, when, when I get linked out to it from Reddit. And it always turns itself back on. And so last week, after I was looking at some of the GIFs that were linked out from the subreddit, it would always end up auto-playing to this dog smiling. And I was like, you know what? For once, I'm okay with the auto-play going to the next thing because this dog is great. And it always auto-played to this next dog. And um, if that keeps happening, it's it's fine. Go watch the Jordan Reacts channel. Linked in the description. YouTube.com slash Jordan Reacts. What if Dragonheart had ended like this? All right, what are... This isn't even near the end of the song, so... <laughs> okay. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Can I post this on Twitter? <laughs> Thank you for including the old ooh, sound effect, which should still be in the game. And I'm very sad that it's not. Uh, he had Feather Falling 4 on, and also he probably Ender Pearled right before he was about to hit the ground. You just didn't see the Ender Pearl. It's just a whole bunch of factors that were involved in this. He's fine. Don't worry about it. Don't question why things are the way they are. I know the second image has been used before. Scientist discovers winged spider. Jordan. Yeah, that's accurate. 
I like this meme format, honestly. I feel like there's some applications for it, and I'm surprised it hasn't been used as often before. Unless it has been, and it, they just haven't made it to the top 19, because people are like, whoa, 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 that hints at too much demonetization here. We can't have that. But, I don't know. God, that spider is absolutely horrifying. Is that a real image? Flying spiders found, and they can steer in midair. Nah. The real height of Jardon. <laughs> <laughs> By saying I'm four feet tall, I put even more emphasis on this. I've made a mistake. Wow, this is some serious analysis. Oh my god. I can't tell if we're being serious. Did, did one person, like, do this seriously? And then everyone was like, wait, is this real? Or is this supposed to be comedic? And then they uploaded it anyway. Jordan always claims to be five foot ten inches. But I... I can't. I can't. I can't. Alex Trebek. What is a uh, sarcasm for $2,000, please? Hey, Alexa, what is sarcasm? The noun sarcasm is usually defined as harsh or bitter derision or irony. Others have also asked, what is irony? Would you like to know the answer? No, I'm good. I got an iron pickaxe earlier. According to Google, I'm five foot ten, but according to me, I am four feet tall no matter what any of this says here, okay? Me and Mark Ruffalo were the four foot brothers. Ascending his re-racked weight, Lord John guides his fellow weight re-rackers. I see no god up here, except for me. I'm not, we're all equal if we re-rack our weights. This is false. I might lead the pack of weight re-rackers, but everybody who re-racks their weights is an equal on our plane. Anyone who does not, especially when they leave a 25, bookended by a 35, on either side of the bench press barbell. What kind of whack ass weight combo is that? Who starts with 95 pounds and then adds 70 to that in terms of 35s on each side? All over your 25, you got a reverse a freaking cone on the oh my god and then you leave it you would in fact i would expect that of a 25 35 combo weirdo to leave their weights on there because they want to show everybody what a weirdo they are i'm sorry if you if you've ever done a 25 with 35s on the outside of it combo on your bench press barbell and you did re-rack it's fine i forgive you but you're definitely, I would, I would bet you if we did a survey of people who did 25 and 35s, most of them don't re-rack. There's a cause and effect here, or a shared symptom. I don't know, but we're all equals here. All of you and me who re-rack, good on you. He predicted more than just mobs and blocks. Captain Sparkles predicted Minecraft effects. Villagers would cheer my way for a hero I was, that's what they'd say. Oh my god, how did I not get the connection here before in the heck bro we're out here predicting raids predicting the outcomes of raids when you're successful oh man Whew. this is pretty solid work on my part all in a day's work hero of the village hero of the minecraft features and stuff like that mojang you ever want to hit me up with a consultancy just let me know i'm here Basically all day I don't leave my desk at all. In fact, I'm taking a vitamin D supplement because I probably have a vitamin D deficiency. Aw oh, man. Aw oh, man. Shameless Kevin Sparkles finishes a shameless shameless self-promotion. Me, finally, let's get on with the video. Kevin Sparkles, there is another. Represent.com slash store slash Captain Sparkles for all of your merchandise needs today if you're naked go there and you won't be naked anymore after the shipping takes place and you can get this and it's pretty great stuff oh man it's just i had to do it did a bit of trading with hubert other minecraft youtubers so i did a bit of mining off camera jarred on so i did a couple of trades off camera okay you can't how dare you how dare you accuse me of cheating in the emeralds okay hubert restocks like once every 15 to 20 seconds and every time that I trade with him I get 12 emeralds out of that so that's 12 emeralds every 15 to 20 seconds which would mean I get a block uh, or a, sorry I get a stack of emeralds every two minutes approximately 
One day of Minecraft has what? Seven minutes worth of active trade time. So that's three stacks of emeralds in one daytime of trading. All right, it's pretty dang easy when you have an infinite emerald villager, much less two of them like I have on SMP Live actually. Dude, how dare you? Okay, it'd be one thing. Actually, you know what? To be fair, if someone was lucky and they had the haste beacon thing, maybe this is le legitimate with the diamonds, but bro, I mined out such a huge air. This is spoilers because the next episode of Survival isn't up yet. I did off camera mining around the beacon. I got like 44 diamonds on a massive area. It's ridiculous. So, yeah, this might, the diamond thing might be a little bit suspect, but the emeralds, psh, Hubert has got vaults bigger than Gringotts, okay? He gets his ingots at Gringotts, even though emeralds aren't ingots. And the top post for the last week doesn't know how to spell Zine's name. Sorry, Zine, but you're a Z now. Jordan's reaction to Zine closing the door on him is great. <laughs> I, <laughs> I had some people link this to me. Um, and Zine actually commented on it while <laughs> we were streaming last night. I, well, I'll give him some credit. He's sort of perfected the super obnoxious little little trolling things like just throwing his items on the ground which is classic zine and shutting doors on me classic zine and throwing more items on the ground which is classic zine and then getting lost which is classic zine and um yep and then getting unalived by mobs also classic zine dude <laughs> classic zine anyway this is here on this channel so watch youtube.com slash Captain Sparkles. Good quality content for your eyeballs. There you go, the final shameless self-promotion for the day. Thanks for tuning in to this week on the Captain Sparkles subreddit. Become a weight re racker today. If you would like, subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Check out the playlist in the description if you want to catch any more of these videos. Like if you liked. You know the drill. I'll see you next time.